Hi, thanks for tuning in to the Generative Work podcast with me, Sarah James Wright, exploring all aspects of future business and conscious leadership. So today I'd like to have a quick run through of what you might expect from the Generative Work podcast. So a bit of an introduction to what we have planned for this space. It's a new idea for us. It's early days. It it may well change. Um, But the idea at the moment is to really explore this field of um, generative work and explain a lot more what we mean by that. Um, It's definitely related to next generation leadership for business for good, conscious business. There's lots of terms that we can discuss, but really it's based on this idea of doing business differently, which has been the motivation for Ali and I, Alison Wooding, who is my co-founder for Generative Workspace. We began working together around 10 years ago when these ideas were still a bit kind of out there. You know, we, we, maybe we were waking up to the idea that uh, we needed to look at the impact that we were having on the environment, but not many people were really considering the negative social impact or inequities that were being generated by organisations or the potential damage they were doing to the health and wellness and uh, accessing the potential of the people that were operating within them. But those were the things that we cared about. So we really wanted to look at organisations, not just as a unit that was just pumping out profit, but within the context that it was working in. So if we're going to look at an organisation always to see, you know, what's the marketplace it's operating within? What's the community of people that it's affecting with whatever it's producing or selling? And what's the kind of social impact and environmental impact that it's creating, as well as looking within the the kind of the walls of the organization and understanding that the culture it creates has a profound effect on the people working within it. And also that all the people working within it bring their own contexts through the door. They're also being affected by their past histories, their families, their previous work settings. So we really wanted to look at this giant picture of the whole of the organisation in context, both within and outside the kind of traditional boundaries of a business. And we really have a vision for our idea of a generative organisation is one that is conscious, that has an awareness of all those levels of life within which it's operating, and that it attempts to stay in a flow with life and create a positive impact at all of those levels. And of course, it will still have problems, issues will still come up, but that it's paying attention to the whole. Um, So that's really been the motivation for us. And we've seen that in order to do that, it requires a deeper shift than just changing our behaviour. A a bigger movement, I think, from just being aware that maybe we need some uh, corporate social responsibility programmes or that we've got some kind of um, recycling scheme in place. Something underneath the behaviour, underneath um, notions of strategy or structure, this deeper shift in the ground of our being as human beings and the way that we perceive our work that's what's really interested us and motivated us to explore these ideas we began working together about 10 years ago and we've been incorporating all of these ideas into our coaching so when we work with either individual leaders or with teams they may not see what's underneath what we present to them but as we help them to discover a different perspective around their work and begin to bring these ideas of wholeness to play they've noticed that they can access more of their resources they feel more creative they feel more in flow 
they're able to generate more positive impact within their work, either as an individual leader, as I say, or in within a team. And they may not be aware of some of the principles and the capacities that we're developing in them. But that's something that we wanted to bring out a little bit more in these podcasts. The ideas that we've developed over these 10 years, we've been working on it kind of behind the scenes for a long time. It feels like it could be a really rich ground to share with people about what are the conditions for leaders to become more aware of um, how they're leading their particular team or their organisation. How do you create a culture that is really wanting to flow a benefit out across all those levels of life? So we'll share a bit more about our thinking, the capacities and the qualities that we've discovered, as well as some of the tools and practices that can help people to get there. We really want to share that with a wider audience than we have so far. But there's something about this space, about working generatively and uh, creating a benefit, that is a very collaborative area. And we've come across all kinds of amazing people in that 10-year journey that we'd like to share with you too. So our work is a synthesis of systemic coaching and systemic perspective, theory U, change management, spiral dynamics and the idea of the kind of evolutionary thread of organisations, um, plus mindfulness, presencing, awareness, whatever you call that, paying attention to the present moment. Uh, it's a real package of a number of things that we have trained in, worked through with our clients as well as for ourselves in our own lives. But we'd like to call in some of the people that we have shared the journey with along the way. We've done a number of collaborative projects in all sorts of different fields. So we'd very much like to interview other people within this field. Experts in spiral dynamics, in new economics, looking at themes around diversity and inclusion, health and well-being. We've worked with the agile community. We've worked with people doing everything from clowning to corporate shamanism. So um, any of those we might bring in and invite some of our friends and collaborators to share a little bit more about their perspective around conscious business and new ways of working. And we'd really like to include people in our community who are actively working with these ideas. So clients who have worked with us, peers who have worked alongside us, and just interested observers, people who have heard a bit about us and like the sound of what we do. So I'd we're going to start with a series of kind of reverse engineered interviews. So we arrive at the content that is valuable for people listening in and joining us and wanting to know more about generative work. So we're going to have a series called Ask Me Three, where we'll invite anyone who's interested to, to ask me three questions about working generatively, and I will do my best to answer them. And that can be about anything at all. It can be about some of the theories behind this, some of the practice. It might be practical questions like I'm meeting this difficulty. What advice would you give me? Anything at all uh, for Ask Me Three. And it might also be that particular themes arise just from whatever's going on in the world at the moment um, or as they crop up for us and our clients. It, it tends to be that I find uh, if there's something, there's some kind of thorny issue I'm working with, it tends to prop up with all of the people that I'm working with at that moment. There just seems to be something in the zeitgeist that we're all tackling at the same time. And sometimes that happens in response to external events. There's a lot more interest in diversity and inclusion, for example, in light of the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, even just looking at how do systems change might be relevant in that context. What is a kind of post-activism energy? What are the conditions that enable systemic change? Um, even things like the coronavirus has brought up a lot of questions around health and well-being for many of us and really learning to rest. Many people struggle with doing less 
as well as how can teams be really adaptive, creative, innovative? How can we pivot quickly in the light of kind of rapidly changing external environments? And sometimes even the cycle of the year can lend itself to themes. Um, as I speak to you now, we're around the time, a little bit after the summer solstice. I find I have a particular energy around that time of year and can often feel a bit exhausted. Um, same thing with the winter solstice. There's a kind of natural cycle to the earth that we can kind of tap into and have an awareness of. And that can lend itself to particular themes throughout the calendar year. We'd like to share stories. Um, there's a background to how we're working. There's multiple sources for this way of working that we could share a little bit more about and perhaps tell you more about the evolution of our own business because that in itself is an experiment in what a generative organisation can be. We are actively discovering what it is to be a generative leader ourselves. All these ideas are really kind of cutting edge so they're not necessarily proven yet. We're all working in an experimental way. So it's good to share for us and for others. How's that going? What's working? What's not working? What's difficult? Um, and very much we're on the same path as you. You know, I'd like to share some more about our personal journeys. And I had an idea for um, either a segment that pops up within themes or on its own called Taking My Own Advice because I'm often uh, saying stuff to my clients about ways, of, ways that they can approach things differently. And I thought it might be fun to share how I've applied those thinkings to my own challenges and my own issues. Um, so we're not just telling people what to do, but we're really sharing how things have worked for us. And I guess the other bit to expect is whatever you ask for. I mean, we're very open that this becomes a collaborative community for anyone who's interested in exploring different ways to do business and create benefit. So please ask us, you know, let us know what you would like to hear about and we will do our best to include that. So there's a snapshot of what may be coming up in the weeks and months ahead. I hope you stay with us. Um, bear with us, as I say, if it's a little bit clunky in the beginning. Um, one early theme about might be about what helps us to be creative and innovate. And uh, one of those is uh, to allow ourselves permission to fail. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect at the start. And so I am definitely applying that rule to myself at the moment as we head off on this podcast adventure. But I'm really excited to be doing it. I'm really looking forward to getting into some of these discussions and meeting lots of the amazing people that we're in contact with and sharing all of that with you. So yeah, stay with us and let us know what you'd like. So thank you for joining us for this episode of the Generative Work podcast. And what did you think? If you have any questions or comments, it would be great to get your feedback. And if you would like to come on and ask me three questions about generative work, we'd love to hear from you. There are links in the bottom of the description for the email and website where you can get in touch. We're looking to build a truly collaborative community for people interested in working generatively. So all ideas welcome. And we look forward to exploring another topic with you next time. Drop us an email if you'd like an update on our next podcast release.